Welcome to Knock Survives, and I'm back on Minecraft, and I'm going to be showing you a time-lapse view of me building this town square area on uh, the mousehole server which I'm playing on, which is that run by my friend Scousy. So without further ado, come with me my friends, let's get building. So, thanks for joining me for another Minecraft video, and we're going to just jump straight into this time-lapse. And this is all it's going to be, is a time-lapse of me doing different builds, and you can watch my process of how I do um, different buildings. I've worked out how to get the replay mod up and running for the latest version of Minecraft, so um, I'm enjoying using that and showing you my process of building. So here we go. Um, I'm just building this whole town square. At the minute, I'm taking down these... Um, pillars that were in the way uh, I don't need them so getting rid of them while I build this house and I'm doing various houses I've laid out different areas that I'm going to do um, as you can see on the floor little floor plans rough guides something I'll kind of stick to but not um, not strictly so um, what I'm going to do here is just building up these walls getting the right colors stripping down some wood for the um, a nice woody kind of effect and I'm gonna do these houses in a similar style but in different kind of uh, different materials so they have a different look to them but still keep that same feel as um, you're going around uh, so as you'll see you'll they'll be a bit different as we go but just building this one up uh, one right in the middle I thought I'd start in the middle and then I can build outwards and I'd know my sizes I need. Uh, so here we go, I'm just finishing this. This is probably one of the most intricate ones I'm doing because it's in the centre. I wanted to be a bit of a centrepiece house. So um, I'm trying to do uh, a nice big roof, something that's really eye-catching as you're walking into this town square. Uh, as always, I put an overhang on uh, the roofs and... Uh, have a different colour to the roof on the overhang. It always sets it off if you do that. I recommend it thoroughly to anyone um, wanting to improve their building skills. Um, who do your house, um, put a different colour around the outside of your roof. Uh, it really sets off a roof. A roof could be so important to a building and it can turn a box into um, a really nice build. So uh, that's a little uh, tip for me there. Um, so just bringing down these pillars, get rid of all of them and uh, continuing with this house. Uh, you'll see that I did part of this roof a little bit wrong, took it down again. Don't, don't be afraid to change things if you don't like it, uh, even if it m means taking something down. I always say in my uh, Minecraft videos, don't be afraid to take stuff down that you don't like. Um, because if you just leave it and go, that'll do then it'll bug you and uh, it might even lead to you not wanting to complete your builds or um, just lose interest. Um, so get those builds just the way you like them so you're really happy with them and that will spur you on to keep doing more and making things better. So uh, here we go, I'm still um, completing this build here. As you see, uh, there's lots of creepers around that building. I want to be careful. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there, I just changed the roof slightly there, just to make it fit better. If you follow my Minecraft videos, I hope you saw my last one, which was um, the base tour. And it did say at the end, I'll be showing you this time lapse of what I was doing. But um, I also said in the video that um, I'm taking a lot of inspiration at the minute from Blue Nerd. So I'd probably recommend going checking out Blue Nerd if you don't know who he is. Um, a lot of people I'm sure do know who he is because he's a, a big Minecrafter out there. He does a lot of time-lapse videos, a lot of tutorials, and I uh, really love his style of build. So I'm, I'm learning a lot from his uh, style of uh, doing roofs and um, building houses and, uh, and uh, wanting to do more time-lapse stuff as well myself. So uh, this is uh, taking a lot of inspiration from him. So I do want to give him credit for uh, the inspiration I'm taking. Uh, as you can see now, I'm 
just swapping around this roof like I said it was it was just off uh, it didn't line up properly so I'm just adjusting it so it all lines up nicely now and it works a lot better so that was all coming down and I'm just lining up a lot nicer and yeah I'm, I'm happy with uh, how I finished it in the end so there we go and that's the roof pretty much finished there uh, before I move on to the next build, I just want to mention uh, my new intro and my, my music I have. Um, this is a, a new arrangement done, an orchestral arrangement that's been done from my friend Alex Bekelling. Um, he ha does have a uh, YouTube channel and he's a fantastic musician. Uh, so uh, I thoroughly recommend going and checking out his channel. So go and check out uh, the link in my description. It's right at the bottom of my descriptions. And um, please check out his channel and give him a subscribe. He's just starting out his uh, YouTube uh, uh, career, should I say? Um, and he's a fantastic musician as well as uh, very good at doing uh, the technical side of content creating and things like that. So if you're interested in any of that, please go and check him out. Um, I thoroughly recommend it. So there's a little plug for you, Alex. Um, thank you so much for doing that music. I'm going to continue to use that music this year because um, I really love it. Uh, so now what well, I'm doing is building a, um, a blacksmith's area. I've got a little blacksmith's area outside here. Just wanted a small house because um, this porch area holds a blacksmith's thing. So I didn't want to take away too much from the blacksmith's area. Um, so I've done a little house and I felt it was a bit too stony. So I took away this uh, edging um, I'd done on the roof and um, I put in some wood edging. Which I'm still not too sure I like but I left it there to see how it would look um, with the rest of the builds that I'm going to do so uh, you should see me now put in these uh, spruce I think it was spruce edging I did um, I think it worked better than the stone and I was kind of happy with it so I left it just to see how it would look uh, it kind of uh, it, it didn't blend in so much with the walls uh, so I didn't mind it so I just left it as it was to see how uh, the rest of the builds would look so um, yeah and then I just done a few bits in the blacksmith's area which you probably can't see me doing right now but um, move on to the next house and this whole process was take took me oh, a good 50 60 hours maybe um, I've reduced it to 20 minutes <laughs> 25 minutes uh, but yeah this were it took some time to do all this uh, I had most of the materials already so it wasn't material collecting too much but uh, it does take time to build these houses each one of these houses probably took two days uh, maybe a uh, eight hours or so to build each of these houses so it takes a while to do these things and you've got to persevere at getting things right sometimes that things don't go right you've got to take a step back take a look at it um try different things take things down um but yeah i'm, I'm really pleased with how they came along and like i said about earlier i said about um doing things uh doing different materials uh just just to make things look different uh Although the houses have a similar feel to them because the roofs have got a similar feel, well most of them do, um, but the different materials I use really uh, set this uh, each house and each building apart from one another and it also make, gives it the feel of things being um, built at separate times and they're not all the same. It would, if I'd done it all the same colours everything would blur together and unless you want that feel of everything being very similar and uniform uh, then I suggest just use a different colour for roofs and uh, maybe your upright supports, maybe your walls just throw in some different colours that complement each other uh, and it would start to look a lot better now I got to a stage now of I need more room uh, I've had a lot of houses to build at the side here so I had to remove a big chunk of land now um, that takes time anyone who's done terraforming and uh, have to remove mountains and things you know how long it takes even with a beacon 
it takes a long time so uh, this was probably a good four or five hours just removing this patch of um, a stone and what have you uh, it took a took a while so uh, I'm throwing this in just to show you uh, what it was like <laughs> the process of me doing it um, I did do some other terraforming here and there but I won't show you loads of it but I find it quite interesting to um, show you bits of terraforming uh, just to see the change that's going on uh, and while I'll do this bit of boring bit of ter terraforming I'm gonna throw in um, a plug for myself uh, so please subscribe to the channel I'm really pushing that thousand subscribers now I'm, I'm on about 550 odd at the minute and I really want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year I really hope and that'll mean I can start earning money from uh, making these videos maybe not a lot but um, at least it gives you cut some kind of recognition of your all the hard work that goes into doing these videos so um, please subscribe and make sure you give the video a like uh, so thank you very much and let's move on to doing uh, some building as I finish off this bit of a uh, terraforming here so we've got a uh, three buildings put into this town square village square whatever it is uh, some sort of marketplace or whatever and um, so we've got a few of them in now and now I'm just gonna put in a couple down the side to give it a, that square feel um, I will be putting in a fountain in the middle just to really bring it together but I'm just putting this in at the side um, to house in this archway as you enter it to make it the only way you can enter this area is through this archway and it'll lead you through to this viewpoint of the first house I built um, that's what I wanted to make sure I did is to um, have it as the only way in the, the that you can get through into this town square so um, that's why I'm putting in this building here that joins to the um, entrance the archway uh, now I'm going to put in this new build and I'm putting in a, a green um, prismarine roof uh, just to put a big change of colour in there a bit of a real strong bit of colour I've put these uh, green copper lights around and I really like that green setting off all these woods and dark stones that I have um, around this build it really gives, gives it an injection of colour uh, so I thought I'd put that into here and I really do like this build when I bring in the um, bit of stone here what I'm doing now this I think it's deep slate I'm using um, it really works well together those two colors and I love it I think I'm going to use that on some more builds because that is a beautiful combination of these uh, I think it's deep slate just put this dark gray with the light blue uh, turquoisey color of the prismary uh, so I'm just fill, finishing off this build of the entrance way the archway I have yeah, there's nothing there it's just a um, just an archway it's gonna be no interior there or anything so that's nice and easy and then I move on to uh, this last build I'm gonna do here which is another one of these um, buildings that are stepped now I like this and um, this is something else a blue nerd does is he steps these buildings and I've tried to um, get used to building these they a little bit difficult um, but once you get into the flow of the build um, then it's not hard at all you've got to see each section as a separate pie and uh, once you do that then uh, it all starts to tie together nicely so don't be afraid to do something like that I feel it really helps set apart these um, square looking builds um, it, and then it, you can do something really simple and nice and easy and it'll really help um, make things look even better so yeah as I carry on building this you'll see um, how just stepping things just once one little block um, will really make a big difference um, not only to the eye line um, or the sight lines of uh, your build um, but also to the feel of the build as well and I'll give you an also different ideas for rooms as you see as I'm about to do now I'm gonna put in a few unusual uh, roofs and it 
it also helps to create a different look to the build so it's really it's something interesting things to look at um, it's great if you're doing lots of builds together in the same area um, you don't want them all looking the same so having things looking different is great even if you um, do continue working in your own style of build so uh, just changing the side here um, it was a bit off I thought about leaving it but once again I thought no don't leave it I'll change it so I took down a whole side of one build um, just to step st change things by one block and it lines everything up a lot better and I, it would have bugged me had I left it and um, so I'm glad I did change it when I did and um, before things got too far but yeah just filling in this roof here putting in the brick roof this time uh, and it, it ties in all nicely with the stone the brick the prisonerine oh yeah I'm really pleased with how it's looking uh, so as I'm finishing that off once again putting the edging round um, and a nice overhang and on the overhang we check put a different color in uh, I think this is the deep slate I'm using on this one I'm not sure whether it was um, what the other dark gray was but this is definitely deep slate polished deep slate I'm using for this one and yeah I chose that instead of a brick look because I had the bricks on the roof I thought I'd use the polished deep slate and I think that works nicely together okay so I'm just bringing up the uh, exterior walls here I like doing these Tudor kind of look it really um it's, it's really good at doing um, nice bits of depth to the build and there we go moving on to another little house tucked away in the corner it's just a square house this time um, nice and easy but I change it up a little bit by adding a nice little porch on the front um, always try and just change things a little bit with your builds just so they're not if you do do something square just add like a little bit of a porch or a little bit on the side just to make it a slightly not so boxy uh, and then uh, you'll be pleased with uh, how it turns out in the end so it didn't matter too much because this is chucked in the corner you're not going to get a full view of this building um, but you still want it to look nice anyway you don't want just a plain building chucked there so um as soon as it is in the corner once again i'm going to use that Pris prismarine because uh, i like that look and i think i'm using blackstone on the, in there as well so uh, a bit of black prismarine and a bit of blackstone goes nice together the dark against the light uh, and that works really well so put in this round here oh, i did did use a dark thing i don't use a black stone um, edging there but yeah I think that looks really nice and there we go just putting it on this porch now like I said just to change um, just, just to change up that squareness of the build and um, so it's something a bit more interesting to look at and there we go now I'm just going to start working on uh, the detailing of these houses because I hadn't really worked on them. So around windows and around doors, I put just a little bit of edging. I put in some planting on some of these corners. I put in some some walls um, and just bits and pieces um, I use for different bits of detailing here and there I don't really know what I'm doing to start with but I just think oh, I'll throw this in here just to give it a nice bit of detail so go around your walls your doors any kind of hard edge um, just put something there that complements the colors and it'll all tie things nicely together so for that sort of thing I use walls I use fences um, half slabs and stairs upside down stairs uh, and buttons as well is always a good thing to use uh, and that will all start to tie your build together nicely uh, once again with the greenery uh, you use uh, will really help 
um, break up your build and give it a nice um, feel to it. Uh, I thoroughly recommend I'm using you know, some trapdoors there for shutters. Trapdoors are great for around windows or at the bottom of walls are also good to use. Um, and then I'm carrying on over here. I've got around the walls and around the windows. And then I decide this this roof is a bit boring. Um, I think I'll put a nice window up the top. I can't, remember, can't think what they're called at the minute, but uh, if I, I do a nice window at the top of this roof, which I'm about to do any second now. So let's, oh, I'll just put, put a bit more greenery around and I'll get to this roof, which I'm talking about as I'm uh, zooming in on the roof. It's about to happen. There we go. So I just decide to knock out some uh, bits for windows. Not big windows, just one wide windows. A couple of bits at the side. Uh, and then I'll put these in. And this works so well. Uh, it just changes the roof completely. It works lovely. Um, I thoroughly recommend that to anyone that finds their roof a little bit boring. Chuck a little bit of a window in there. And it completely changes the look of the build so there we go just doing some more detailing putting some planters around with a couple of leaf blocks um, that works wonders that does bringing that greenery into a build is fantastic as you can see I'm doing some more detailing here with um, buttons and fences uh, on goes the greenery around the um, hot edges of each um, of these builds. So down the edge, on each level, um, top of the first floor, top of the second floor, gets a bit of greenery in there and it all starts tying in nicely. And I continue doing that to the next build. Uh, it's really quite simple. Make sure you've got yourself lots of uh, greenery, lots of plant pots are great um, on the edge of the windows you can see um, I just put a little bit of a, a flower box they're great for outside windows um, just just adding details around wherever um, there's no strict rule to it just putting lots of detail about um, will really tie your build in and um, turn it from a boring build into something that really looks nice and you'll be um, pleased to look at so once again here, I'm going to put in a couple of windows, the same as I did um, on the last build I did. Um, as you can see, it does completely change that build. And um, if you've got a boring roof, I thoroughly recommend doing something like that. Okay, so we're almost finished now. I'm, all I'm going to do now is change this fountain. It was too big, so I put in a different size fountain. Um, and now just going to do the flooring. I'm going to change this to a stone floor instead of um, a grass one. So I'm changing this all out. I'm doing it um, two levels high. So you'll see me putting in a load of glass, gl grass, I mean. Um, that's not the finished product. This is just um, a base layer before I put on a higher layer. So I'll just fill it in this bit here. And then I'll go in and fill in with stone as you can see and that's still not finished because what I'll do then is I'll just um, dot around some um, cobblestones, stone bricks and the site just bits of um, different textures um, where uh, it'll make the it make the floor not look, not look so um, plain um, but first before I do that I'm going to put in a few um, so a few small trees around, like uh, they've been planted around there. So we've got some planted trees, which are about to go in, and a few planters around as well, um, just to make things look nice. So there we go. Right at the bottom of your screen, I'm just putting in a little tree there. And these aren't very big, just um, small, basic trees. just to add some greenery into the build and a, a bit of height to the greenery as well. Uh, 
so it's not quite the same as the um, planters I have around but uh, yeah and also with these green or with the trees the small trees I put in a different leaf just to um, change the color up a little bit I'm not sure how it, well this video picks that up but um, I think that helps and here we go I'm just dotting around some different textures as you can see and I find that helps tie things together a, a lot um, I don't always do this kind of thing where you're texturing something but yeah I think that worked well with this square because there was a lot of one color and um, I felt that needed something like that along there so um, finishing off the build now it's pretty much all complete now um, just putting a few planters around bits and pieces just to make things look pretty you can put flower pots around um, just decorate your build up just to make things look nice I haven't done an interior just yet um, I will do an interior but I don't think I'll do it on camera I might do you a um, little tour at some point of uh, my interiors let me know but uh, in the comments down below if you'd like to see what I do with the interiors but these are going to be housing um, my villagers this is where uh, my villager trading is going to be so I'll um, have these all set in place where I can come and do some training with my villagers my next stage after this video is going to be a church in the back um, if you'd like to see that in a time lapse let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the church and if you have any other ideas of what I could do with my pirate area um, I'd love to hear from you see what you think and that's about all from now I'm hoping, I hope you've enjoyed this time lapse video uh, I am back on to doing my vlogs again so um, I hope you're enjoying my vlogs it's two different sides to my um, channel is my gaming and my real life vlogs and I hope you don't mind these being in the same channel I'm going to do a Q&A video soon where I'll be talking about um, having one channel or two channels pros and cons um, but let me know what you think about having those two different things on the same channel uh, whether it puts you off seeing something you're not interested in uh, when there's other things I do that you are interested in I don't know I'm, I'm still new to doing this so um, yeah let me know in the comments what you think but other than that I'm going to end this video and I hope you've enjoyed uh, this nice little time lapse and uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video goodbye